she could no longer stand. And she fell into my arms there on the banks of Morning Strand. And when she had come to herself and seen what she had done, she tore her hair and wrung her hands, crying forever, I'm undone. Will you marry me, my lord and lad, as you promised me before? And my father will divide his land on the banks of the morn shore. I will tell you, as you told me, I am a year too young. And besides of all ye mooring girls of a false and flattering tongue, what if ever I'll tell yous how it was with me, if to listen yous are willing. Twas in yon house behind yon hill, where I had lately been distilling. I swung a keg upon my back, and started out for daylight coolly. Good customers I did not lack, and I sold it all in Ballyhooly. I thought it wiser to delay me homeward way for fear of peelers. So in that way I spent the day dining with the whiskey dealers. But as the shades of night came down and I had got my money duly, I bade good night to all was there and started home from Ballyhooly. My heart was like the mountain dew that I had brewed among the heather. When on my way I chanced to spy a lad and lassie walk together. Her neck was like the mountain snow, her cheeks like roses blossom newly. She had a voice like music, soft and low, she was a flower of Ballyhooly. This young man quickly left her side, it was afraid of me that he was. And still the lassie did not hide, it was in love with me that she was. Then quickly up beside her came, says I, fair maid, I love you truly. And if your parents give consent, will you be me bride in Ballyhooly? I have a house behind John Hill with two fair greyhounds and a ferret. Besides, I have a little still. The drops it makes with you, I'll share it. And I have got a feather bed with sheets and blankets purchased newly. Besides, I have a ring to wed if you'll be mine in Ballyhooly. Her cheeks, they grew more cherry red during the time that we were talking. And still she hung her little head and viewed the ground where we were walking. She said, young man, if you're content and if you say you love me truly, and if my parents give consent, then you'll be mine in Ballyhooly. I asked her name, she said it was Jane, and that her second name was Cooley. And then I asked her when she'd wed, she'd said the sooner wed the better. So I went to ask her parents, glad if they were content to let me get her. They said they were, they wished us luck, we started out for Father Dooley. And at the hour of twelve o'clock, we tied not in Ballyhooley. The wedding that we had that day, people coming uninvited. The piper played for every squad, Jane she sang and I recited. The potching flowed like a waterfall, that from the still had just come newly. And in that way we gaily spent our Honeymoon in Ballyhooly, the wedding presents that we got, none of them was mean nor shabby. Me auntie Dotchy bought some cloth to make the dresses for the babby. Invitations all went round, while the friends we just made newly. A lighter heart could not be found than mine that night in Ballyhooly. It's fifteen years now since we wed, and still in every way we're thriving. Me Jane, she is a dandy yet, though down the hill of life she's driving. The family has increased in store, fifteen daughters all unruly. Bonnie Jane, she's my queen, and I'm the king of Ballyhooly.
town I was bred and born. In Stephen's Green, now I lie in scorn. I served my time at saddling trade, but I always was a roving blade. I always was a roving blade. At seventeen, I took a wife. I loved her dearer than I loved my life. And so to keep her both fine and gay, I went out robbing on the king's highway. I went out robbing on the king's highway. I never robbed the poor man yet, nor lately caused anyone to fret. But I robbed lords and ladies fine, and I carry the gold home to my heart's delight. I carry the gold home to my heart's delight. I robbed Lord Golding, I do declare, and Lady Mansfield up in Grosvenor Square. I closed their shutters and bid them good night, and I carried the gold home delight. I carried the gold home to my heart's delight. To Covent Garden I made my way, there with my wife for to see the play. Lord Fielding's men there did me pursue, and I was taken by that cursed crew. Yes, I was taken by that cursed crew. My father cried, oh my darling son. My wife, she cried, now I am undone. My mother tore at her gray locks and cried, it's in the cradle that I should have died. It's in the cradle that I should have died. When I am dead, I went for my grave. A flashy funeral, pray let me out. Six highwaymen for to carry me. I'll give them broadswords and sweet liberty. I'll give them broadswords and sweet liberty. I'll give them broadswords and sweet liberty. I'll give them broadswords and sweet liberty.
she squeezed them, then she hung them out dry. And she folded up her arms, saying, what a nice young girl am I. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode in a row. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode day. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode in a row. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode day. Going to the well for a pail of water, fetching it home for to make some tea. She fell under, I fell over, all of the game was above the knee. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode in a row. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode day. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode in a row. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode day. Blue tears, a lovely color, till it gets a second cup. That's what it's like with an old man court, and never know when you're getting milk then. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode in a row. Mama, mama, darling, and I rode day. Tracks of land, madam, you've got ships in the ocean. All you need is a fine young man.